to offer me that and he said that's so because love asked for an example i think women might choose to get offended choose to get offended by that question if they don't really like you if they're not really feeling you if the woman is feeling you i think they'd be receptive to anything you ask them mm. say the last I, part I, again says my 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 hold on one second huh? i just i missed that last part say it one more time I said, if the woman is really feeling you, they'll most likely be, well, they will be receptive to damn near any question you ask them. If they like you, if they don't like you. They're going to choose to be offended by certain questions like that. I don't see that as offensive at all. Gotcha. Um, let me let Hood jump in real quick. And I just want to read these couple, Hood, and you can jump in. Gunny with the $20 super chat. Alex, Wednesday show is the quintessential example of femininity. Uh, she stands her ground, but... No, oh, Alex from Wednesday's Wednesday show is a quintessential, quintessential example of femininity. She stands her ground, but never resorts to insults whenever it gets backed into a corner. She doesn't have to struggle in her femininity while debating men. So shout out to Alex for using this example. Um, and then I got one more, and then I want to make sure Hood get his get his time. I think he got some substantive shit to say. Um, we on Lo is it Loke? Lock, lock, lock nation. I don't know. He might be a crip. We on Loke Nation with a five dollar super chat. Women should express themselves logically and passionately, feminine or masculine. At the end of the day, we are human beings. And I got one more. <clears throat> Men have always been easily fooled by deceitful femininity. Hmm. Go ahead, Hood. No, I just think that, you know, the purpose of these conversations is because men want to have relationships. Black men want to have relationships with black women. And if we're going to lead or if we're going to be a voice in your heart, in your mind, you would have to actually listen to us and not respond thinking that we're being disrespectful or thinking that our purpose is anything other than connecting with you and getting to know you and trying to get deeper into what is called black love. But at this point, whenever we mention real things, it's like a argument and it's a, like a back and forth or, you know, talking about how you were raised and all of these particular things, but we never get to how can we come together, right? and accountability meaning that what our payments we balance each other out our payments received and our payments taken out we're accountable for that how much are you spending what are your spending habits you know we can say well you spending 300 dollars a week on hair and nails why don't we stop doing that and invested in that you know but we can't have these real conversations because we when we mention accountability, we don't probably even know what it means at this point. So it's just like, how can we come together? How can we have real conversations as opposed to pointing out all of the bad things that men do when we've been told that I know that I've been fed that since I was a little boy, that naturally men just aren't anything, you know, or we're dogs and things of that nature. But now that I'm a grown man and I have a wife and I have a children, like we got to have these conversations. But and the reason why we keep having these conversations is because black women have refused to listen up until this point. But I feel like it's a testament of men to constantly strive to have these conversations, bringing women on and like inviting these dialogues because you don't see it in verse. Right. You don't see black women who like the Kendra G's bringing black men up and asking them how they feel. You know what I'm saying? It's just more or less of men have always been a commodity, a sexual object, an ATM. So when we have these kind of conversations, <laughs> feminine to be feminine is to listen to the man and say, wow, I never heard that before. Oh, you have a soul. You have feelings. Let's work on that as opposed to just dismissing him calling him disrespectful he don't know what he's talking about he broke maybe she didn't love you it was my family you know all of these is just excuses and what is the point 
black men need black women. You know what I'm saying? That's really the point. But we're not going to talk about that. I feel like these conversations get swept under the rug. But Mr.